you're welcome once again my friends to our series on friendship this week and these are excerpts from my book who is your friend and in this episode we are going to look at something different on the subject of love and friendship and in this episode we are looking at this if you don't love a person because of something you know about them then you have no trait for friendship True friends love their friends beyond their knowledge of them. If God loves us based on who we are now, none of us would be his friends. Love your friends beyond your current knowledge of them. Love your friends beyond your current knowledge of them. Love is the bedrock of friendship. Any relationship that has no friendship and love as its base is a relationship that is built upon the sun. At the blow of a little wind, it will fall flat to the ground. If we want to have lasting friendships and relationships, we need to walk in love towards one another and let love be our hallmark in all that we do. Look at this briefly. Love together with friendship. Love and friendship move together they go hand in hand wherever there is love you will find the heart of friendship and wherever there is friendship you will also find the heart of love you cannot claim to be in, in friendship or and you cannot claim to love a person and become absolutely exclusive to everything that happens in their lives True love relates. True love relates. And these are some of the things that we have to understand when it comes to love and friendship. Because love and friendship move together. Love and friendship move together. They are intertwined. They are connected to each other. Let's shortly look at the relationship between love and friendship. There are two quotes to help us understand the relationship between love and friendship. The first is this. The heart of friendship is love. The heart of friendship is love. There is no way for you to be in friendship if you have no love in your heart. Because the word friendship itself is a product of love. Anyone in friendship without love in his heart ends up becoming ends up not becoming a friend but an enemy. Let me take it again. Anyone in friendship without love in his heart ends up not becoming a friend but an enemy. Be conscious of that. Second quote to help us understand the relationship between love and friendship is this. Friendship is the hands of love friendship is the hands of love you cannot make your love known to others if you have no heart of friendship the heart of friendship that is the ability to care counsel correct connect cater for and be compassionate is the vehicle by which through which and from which love is known the heart of friendship in other words without friendship love becomes inexpressive and without love friendship becomes inoperative take a minute and meditate on these two key words or two key quotes to helping you understand the relationship between love and friendship Now let's look at this. Love is futuristic. Love goes beyond. Love breaks boundaries. Love extends itself. Love is futuristic. Love hopes. Love is not here and now. If, as a matter of fact, 
you understand the power of love, your relationship with people changes. Take this scripture and see. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7. It says this from the New Living Translation. It says this. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is always hopeful. And love endures through every circumstances. This is so powerful to understand the power of love. Let's look at it from a different translation. From the NIV translation. It says this. Love always protects. Love always trusts. Love always hopes. Love always perseveres. That's the power of love. It's so important for us to come to understand this truth about love. Love is futuristic. Love has no end. If, as a matter of fact, your love for people is limited to all that is now, then your love is weak and insufficient. If what you see about people today is what makes you love them, then your love is not real. Real love sees the future, thinks of the future, believes the future, and yearns to make the future real in the lives of people. So don't become improvident or improvident, myopic and short-sighted to the lives of people and conduct of people. As a matter of fact, if you focus on their lives now, all that you would see is their flaws. All that you see is their failures. All that you see is their fears. All that you see is their faults. You wouldn't see anything of perfection. You wouldn't see anything of excellence. You wouldn't see anything of greatness in their lives. And they would make you or they could make you disrespect them diminish their influence and disdain their potentials but if on the other hand you look at the future on what they could have on what they could do and what they could become your reactions to them will be magnificent your reactions to them will be marvelous and your reactions to them will be motivational so let your love be futuristic too that's how god sees us his love for us is boundless and limitless look at how love sees afar love sees afar so much so that that when abraham the father of faith lived in a household of idol worshippers god yet saw him and looked at him and saw the friend of god in him what about moses moses committed murder yet he saw a great deliverer in him david on the other hand likewise was both an adulterer and a murderer but in him was a man after God's own heart what about the Apostle Paul the Apostle Paul both arrested and necessitated the death of the Apostles yet God saw in him a great Apostle brothers despite all our flaws God looks at us and sees a royal priesthood, an holy nation, and a peculiar people. This is how love sees afar. It doesn't focus on what is here and now, 
Love sees the future, thinks the future, believes the future, and yearns to make the future real in the lives of people. To live in friendship, remember this, we live in friendship with love. We live in friendship with love. The Bible says in Romans 5, verse 5, that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. So let God's love, which is shed abroad in your heart, be known and be evident to people. Express it to people. Demonstrate it to people. Don't be focused and obsessed with the flaws and fears of people right now. Beyond your current knowledge of them, what do you see? What do you see about their future? What can they do? Don't magnify their weaknesses. When you do that, your love for them is not real. Aside their flaws, can you see the great potentials God has deposited in them? Aside their weaknesses, can you believe the greatness God has deposited in them? That is the power of love. And it is only the power of love that could look at a person who now is nothing and make him something God has designed him to be in the future. That's the power of love. That's the power of love. Don't focus on what your friends are now and talk anyhow with them. Don't look at the, how they behave now and disrespect and mistreat them. If you look at your friends, think of the future. Don't conclude on their lives and destiny. That is not how they would be forever. God, as a matter of fact, changes people. So treat people with respect and honor, even when their behavior seems idiosyncratic or seem unwise. That's what makes the difference and shows that you are indeed a true friend and you have a true love for others. Be that to others today. Take a couple of minutes, meditate on the quality of your love for people, and then demonstrate and let them see the power of God's love in your heart. I pray that God will give you the grace to love your friends beyond your current knowledge of them. I pray that he would help you to love others just as he loves them and he loves you. Once again, I'm John Arthur, the author of Who is Your Friend? And our book is still available on Amazon. Get a copy of it and read it for yourself and God will use it to enrich and bless your life. Till we meet again next week, may you have a blessed week in Jesus' name. Amen.